do that. So you know, it, I really believe in many ways as a business owner, especially someone like me who's in a service-based business, we're often teaching exactly what it is we need to learn. Well, I agree with you on that. I mean, I, absolutely. And um, I do think, and I do think that women are better at this than men. I think women are continually reinventing themselves. I think that, you know, when you see a, a turn coming in the road, it's easier for a woman to adjust and make that little switch and turn. However, I also think that women procrastinate a lot more than men do. So it may take her longer to make that turn than it does a guy once he decides he wants to do it. But I do think that uh, we are continually reinventing ourselves. I mean, I've just gone through this myself where I've reinvented myself. I think this is my sixth reincarnation. <laughs> and the interesting thing, though, is that I've come back, almost come back to where I started all those many years ago. Because um, at 13, um, you know, I was selling door to door. And at 17, I had my own radio shows. And here I am, full circle, back again. Uh, there's a lot more complication now. There's a lot more technology involved. But it's basically uh, where I started. So, but the other thing is you also, uh, you wrote a book. And it was an internationally best-selling book yeah. called Cause you Wor You're Worth It, How to Make More Money by Charging More Money. Uh, tell us how that relates to Living Regret Free. Oh, you know, it's so funny. I had my daughter proofread the book for me. I was uh, I set it up. It was a, a soft cover book, and I wanted it, uh, to uh, put it on a Kindle platform. So I had her proofread it again for me, and she was... I guess this was last year, she was graduating from college and she finished and she said, mom, this isn't for business owners. This is for everybody. Like all my friends read, need to read this book. And really what the book is centers around what I call the value formula. And the value formula, I'll tell you very quickly, V stands for vision. It's your vision for yourself and for the people that you interact with. Like how is, how is your interaction with that person going to impact them. So for instance, how is this conversation between us, Gail, going to impact you and whatever you, go, whatever you go on to do and vice versa, how will your interaction with me impact me? It's more than just this you know, 20, 30 minutes that we spend together. A stands for actions and action is what it is you do. You mentioned procrastination before. Women procrastinate a lot. So do men. I speak with a lot of men who procrastinate a lot. I think women are weighing their options more. And you know, so it's like, what are the actions that you take on a regular basis so that you become the vision of yourself, that you become the vision of who you want to be and where you want to go and who you interact with and why? And then L stands for learning. It's what you've learned over the years. And I look at that, you know, every single thing I've learned adds to who I am. When I first started in college, I was a computer science major, and this goes back 30 years. And I was on the phone with a client of mine the other day, and all of a sudden, I found myself talking about those very, very first computer science classes I took. Now, I dropped out of computer science after one semester because I couldn't do the calculus that was necessary to keep up with it. But I found myself talking about you know those common cards we used to have to type and put in? And it was it was so amazing realizing that everything I've learned, the things that I bake, the way that I cook, for you, the fact that you did radio when you were 17 and now look at you again, doing this again. All these things add up to who you are. You stands for being unique, that there is truly only one of you, that the way you speak, the way you interact with people has an impact. Does it work for everybody? No, it does not. But who you are and exactly who you are is the only way for you to be. If you tried to be somebody else, you would look like a fool. And if they tried to be you, you would or they would look like a fool. You have to be yourself. And finally, E stands for enough, that you get to say enough, that you get to say no, that you get to stop compromising, that when people call you up and ask you to do a favor that really doesn't work for you, you say no, you say enough to them and yes to yourself. So those pieces taken together 
help you to determine your own value. And when it comes to being in business, you put those things together and you say, oh, I could actually charge more money because I am worth more money. But this concept applies to anywhere, regardless of who you are, when you're trying to make decisions about where you want to go and how you want to do things, it absolutely pulls in to helping you decide what you, what your next step is. Well, you know, it's uh, uh, I think one of the most important out of the, the VALUE is the enough, because uh, one of the things that I talk to women about is being able to say no without feeling guilty. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I think it comes, I think when, when you're, you're, it kind of goes up over your eyes and into your forehead and you say enough, uh, that's when you really kind of uh, get to the point where you're going to blow up. But I do think it's really important to be able to say enough because people keep looking and looking and looking and looking and, and uh, are always looking for that special something which is not necessarily going to come. Well, first of all, we've just got a few minutes left. So okay. I want to tell people where to find you. Um, your website is Carrie, and that's C-A-R-R-I-E, Carrie Green, and that's G-R-E-E-N-E. -E -E. So we've got two R's in Carrie and the E on the end of Green. So it's CarrieGreenCoaching.com. So is that the best way for people to get in touch with you, Carrie, or do well, you want is, to call you another day? Absolutely my website, and people people are also more than welcome to email me directly. My email address is Carrie at CarrieGreenCoaching.com, and yeah, there is that pesky E at the end of green. So uh, I didn't pick it, but that's what we ended up with. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and... Um, uh, and again, the carry is with a C A R R I E. And um, I think also um, the thing you really need to know about Carrie is that if you decide to call her for coaching, she is very caring, very, very, uh, she is really interested in you. She's not just somebody that says, okay, you've got your 30 minutes, your 45 minutes, or whatever. But the interesting thing, and I hope you caught it when Carrie said it, Carrie has a coach and most coaches have coaches and people who are growing and who live regret free and who do have their own business they never stop learning and that's the important thing is that you always continue to grow and to learn and when you don't that's when you better close up shop that's for sure so um we have about two minutes left, Carrie. Is there anything else you would like to tell our audience? Absolutely. You know, it's really important. One of the things that I have found, regardless of where you decide to go, the most important thing you need to do is know yourself. I know one of the exercises I'm doing right now is jotting down, if it ended today, you know, if, if the last thing I ever did, Gail, and I hope it's not, is this interview with you, what am I going to regret? And starting to build that list so that I understand where my next steps are. And with that, the other piece of it is to know who you are. What kind of person are you? What kind of communicator are you? And I do have a tool, if I could share that with everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, a tool that you can use to do it. It's what I call your profit profile. And whether or not you're in business for yourself, whether you have a job, whether you just play all day or whatever it is you do, this would work for you. And it's called a profit profile, and it'll help you to understand how you communicate, how you work best. And you can go to my website, again, it's carriegreencoaching.com, and do slash profile. So it's carriegreencoaching.com slash profile. And in a five-minute quiz, you might have to fudge a couple of the questions if you're not in business right now, but you'll do pretty well on it. But in a five-minute quiz, you'll get a really good idea of who you are and how you communicate best. And I took that quiz and I did. So <laughs> again, thank you so much for being with us, Carrie. It's been a delight and I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, Gail.